and this is what's for breakfast today. Real Medley's Granola and Yogurt Blend. Oh, I just realized that it has yogurt in there today. What's this one say, Vanilla? Granola and yogurt, huh? I'm slightly lactose intolerant. I need to learn to read the labels more when I buy stuff. I'm slightly lactose intolerant. It won't do anything to me. It might just make my face a little red today. But it's just a little bit, it's a little. It's not like I'm chugging milk or something. I used to chug whole milk like every day, all day. I love milk so much. And then I realized that it was making me sick. It was making my stomach a little tense, like it was sort of a little twisted. And then my face would get a little red. And then I stopped drinking milk and it all went away. Anyway, good morning, you beautiful people. We are here in, where are we? We're here in Wisconsin somewhere. Let's ask Mandy. Mandy, I need to clean you, you dirty girl. Let's see, where am I? Where am I? Hudson, Wisconsin, okay. That's probably about 1,100, 1,200 miles or so. So we're gonna get, well, we'll drive a full day today. We'll drive about 1,000 kilometers, 620 miles. We'll see how we feel towards the end of the day, but I felt, I feel like I got a good sleep. I'm ready for the day. How are you guys? You guys ready for the day? Oh yeah. Another day of napping. <laughs> we'll stop somewhere and let you guys run for an hour or two. Yeah, don't you worry. No, I don't care, man. I got my bone. Look at my bone. It's very nice. Diesel, you don't want a bone? These Nyla bones, my dogs don't chew these. I don't, I've never known an actual dog that chews these fake things, but I wouldn't chew it either. It's like plastic, so they don't work for my dogs. Just coming up to Wisconsin Dells. Someone Snapchatted me earlier, asking if I was through Wisconsin Dells yet. No, I was not. Now I am. This is uh, what the majority of Wisconsin looks like when you're driving through it. A lot of bushlands, my kind of lands. A lot of wilderness. Each one is away from their family right now, delivering products. Doing the video again. What we do every day. So we're on our break right now, our midday break, and this is the way I spend my break every day. Every day. That, and I usually make myself a sandwich. And this guy decided to wake up right now because I'm vlogging. He's a camera hog. What do you want, bud? You were sleeping this whole time, and I decided to vlog, and every time I start to vlog, you get up and start wandering around, pacing back and forth. You just want to be on the camera. I know, you're, you, you're a star, buddy. You're a star. Everybody loves you. Look, look at him. Look at his fancy ears. Oh, yes, there he is. And of course, Diesel's like, I'm a star, too. I was the original. I'm the original star, man. Very true. It was Diesel's birthday yesterday. Diesel, how old are you? I don't know, man. You mean human years or dog years? In human years. Human years, you are 28 years old. Isn't that crazy? He is four years old in human years. You know what's funny? He's older than I am in human years right now. <laughs> I'm 27. I turned 27 this year in 2015. 2016, I am 28. He is now officially older than me in human years. I guess it explains a lot why he's a little more mature than I am. Thanks for all your help editing, guys. A lot of help. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're going to come down? Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to need the slice water. There are so many flies in here. And they keep landing on diesel or sergeant, so I can't swat them then? Well, I could. So we just stopped in at this rest area here. Uh, we're in Wisconsin, south of Madison. Where am I? Not found. Okay. That's the nearest intersections here. So south of Madison. Janesville, Wisconsin, according to Google. That's a nice truck right there. So at these rest areas in the States, they always have the truck parking on one side like this. And then what we call the four wheelers or vehicles with four wheels. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. They park on the other side over there. Cause they segregate us. And you know, they always got vending machines and everything in here for you. Travel information and 
and whatnot in here for travelers. A map. It's a map of Wisconsin. We are right there. Almost in Illinois. And usually outside here somewhere they got like a history of the area. You guys can slow this down and go through it if you want to. Nothing to be seen but immense prairies. The grass is so very high that a man is lost amongst it. The paths are everywhere. Though nothing passes that way excepting buffaloes and some herds of deer. Sounds like Manitoba. So yeah, that's a basic rundown of the rest area here, just south of Madison, Wisconsin. Every rest area is very similar to that. Like they have the truck parking on one side, the car parking on the other side, and they usually have those plaques and whatnot like I showed you showing you the history of the area, you know, sort of like what it used to be before we came and ruined it and stuff like that, you know. Like the prairies, it used to be just all open grass, taller than a man, like seven, eight feet tall the grass. Like the prairies where I'm from, that's what it was like, just grass as far as you could see. Millions and millions of buffalo. And we came in and we're like, well, we need to eat or we're gonna die. So we had to make farms. Hungry fella? There you go. I was watching Ace Ventura Pet Detective the other day at home. Still one of my favorite all time videos. Love Jim Carrey. He's a Canadian, you know that? We're just here in a little break. Those little bones that I bought for them yesterday, I'm giving them to them, giving them to them today. It's an effort to keep their minds occupied so that they don't chew on my cords anymore. Diesel never chews on anything he's not supposed to, but Sergeant still has a habit of chewing through my cords. So we're playing Distraction. The game that is distraction, right? Keeping your mind off my cords and on bones and stuff that you should chew. Nothing's more frustrating than going back to my sleeper and finding out he chewed through another cord. Oh yay! Good thing I just have a money tree in the back. I'll just go pick off a couple of hundred dollars and go grab another couple of cords. He's a puppy, he'll get over it. But in the meantime, I'll just try to keep him distracted. And uh, I can't just get one for Sergeant and not get one for Diesel, right? It's not fair then. So we're actually just here at a rest area. Where are we? Mandy, where are we? Speak to me, woman. Not found. Okay. All right, well, when Mandy doesn't know, we ask Google, because Google has all the answers. Even the answers that Mandy doesn't have. Welcome to you new viewers. Mandy is my GPS. My global positioning system. She's my wife. All right, let's ask Google. Google, where are we? No, 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 I don't want to know what the weather is. All right, you see that little spinning circle in the bottom right there? It's looking, we're in Effingham. Effingham. Effingham is great on a sandwich. My GoPro ran out of juice again today. Second day in a row, it just turns itself on and then I don't realize it, and then it just runs out of juice. So it's sitting here on my dash, right? It was dead. I don't even know if I got any proper road footage today. I think it was just right in the beginning of the day. I like showing you guys the scenery of where I am, because it makes the vlog a lot shorter if I don't have my GoPro, because this is what I show you guys the scenery with, like while I'm on the road, because this is mounted, right? It's hands-free. I can't use this camera when I'm on the road. I do have a mount for this camera. I used it a bit yesterday. Uh, but I don't like the mount for it so well because it's not quite stable enough for this camera. It's still... I like my GoPro. This is a GoPro Black Edition. It is a Hero 3 Plus. So it's not the newest edition. I need to upgrade. But 
Upgrading always takes money, and like I said, the money tree in the back is getting kind of slim. I gotta water it a little bit. Do you approve of that good, sir? You're very good, man. Very good. You're very, very nice. Very nice. How about you, Sergeant? Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's it. Mm-hmm. I know you're gonna make a mess, but try not to make too big of a mess, okay? Thank you. So they got to eat, so I figure, well, what about me? I searched through my cupboards and I found Bee Made 100% Canadian Pure Honey. Right from the bee's mouth. And then upon further searching, I still have some of mom's raw chicken that she gave me yesterday. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some honey on these and it's gonna be good. See? Thinking. And I saved myself a $15 meal. Thanks to mom. What are moms good for? They always make sure you got food. It's delicious. I am gonna save you for later. That was a good idea. Just going through Twitter here. End of my day. I like to catch up with everything. 41 new followers today. Welcome to the new followers. Thank you. First one here that I see is Kelsey at KB. What up? Started watching Trucker Josh vlogs. Great work. Glad to see another Canadian on YouTube. Well, hey, hey, Canadians unite. I will respond, Canadians unite. So yes, welcome to all the new followers, new people come on every day. Just want to make a special shout out to you guys. Make sure you guys are acknowledged and welcome. Uh, this vlog is about my life. I happen to drive a truck across all of Canada and the United States. So that is what a lot of my life includes. Moseying my way around by road all around North America. I travel with my two dogs. You've seen them in the vlog already, Sergeant and Diesel. And we have an interesting, unique lifestyle. And this is what I love to do. It's what I've dreamed of doing most of my life. It's what my dad does for a living as well. He's been doing it over 30 years and it just seemed like the next step in life just to continue what he was doing. And uh, he's got his own truck. I own this truck. This is my truck. Uh, I run my own business out of this. This is my home. This is my bedroom up here. That is my dog's bedroom down there pillows and stuff plus they get the whole floor down here and everything too we stop every day to make sure that they get a stretch their legs today we stopped in where was it was it still in wisconsin wisconsin near wisconsin Illinois, near the beloit area and i let them rip around there for a little bit i didn't grab my camera or whatnot i just wanted to quickly let them get their energy out i usually let them run until they can't run anymore it's usually a good sign that it's time we can move on <laughs> But yeah, uh, you can follow me here, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all that stuff. I've got a whole bunch of links down below in the description to past vlogs of mine. You uh, new people can catch up on my life over the past few years. I believe the vlogs have gotten better myself, at least the quality of them has. So, forewarning, past vlogs, I was learning, I'm still learning. Can you imagine, like 10 years from now, I'll be thinking, I'll be looking at this vlog I'm making right now, being like, oh my, I can't believe I published that. But... It's just the way we go. We keep getting better and better. So I'm going to continue going through Twitter here. i got to go through Facebook and move all my files onto the computer from my camera. I'll edit it tomorrow during the day. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Don't forget to go to Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube if you haven't already, if you're watching this video anywhere else, and subscribe there so you don't miss a day. We make a new video every single day of the week. <sighs> That's right. Every single day. <laughs> I like to punish myself. We do miss a day here and there, so I do take breaks here and there because uh, no one can do that forever except for Charles Trippy. He can he's like Superman He's on like day 2600 and something like almost 2700 days straight without missing a day like, I think he's going for the full decade. Can you imagine that? As a new movie every single oh, wow. Hats off to Charles Trippy. You're the man. I met him last week at vlogger fair there. Oh, that was a good time I can't wait for vlogger fair next year 
there will definitely be a vlogger for next year. I heard rumors that there may be more than one, but shh, I don't know anything. Don't listen to me. It's rumors. Sergeant, you got anything else you'd like to say to the good people? Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Do you know you're on camera? There's thousands of people looking at you, man. Well, now he's all shy. Thousands of people looking at you right now. How about Diesel? What do you think? <laughs> so we'll, this was our day. Hope you join us again for uh, our day tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time. After every vlog, I will usually have a slideshow. I didn't take too many still pictures today, but usually I try to take as many still pictures as I can throughout the day, and then it's sort of like a recap of the vlog by picture at the end of the vlog there. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hit that thumbs up button if you feel like it. Makes me feel real good inside. Doesn't really do anything for me, like financially or... But I like seeing that people appreciate the work I do. Not gonna lie, it feels nice. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, Trucker Josh, he's a truck driving man. Comes from up around that Steinbach town. He's got Diesel the Weasel and Sergeant too. Those dogs keep Josh from singing the blues. He's a hammering down, coming through your town. Do the Trucker Josh will do. He's got a big bumper on the front of that truck. So a big old buck He's got a Timmy Hortons And a club sandwich too He uploads videos for me and you He's a hammering down Coming through your town Do the Trucker Josh Boogie Oh, give him boys Trucker Josh Boogie Oh, Trucker Josh Boogie He's a hammering down